I did it again. I got too much silver in for my budget. Hello everybody and welcome back to the journey. It's been a pretty good week. I've picked up several different pieces. I've gotten several pieces in the mail. Plenty of mail. Uh, had a few, couple of mail calls. I had so many I couldn't fit it all into one. As I said, the week has gone quite well. Um, didn't have any real problems except for one of our guys called out of work. So I ended up having to work the whole weekend. So that put a damper on a few things. But uh, other than that, everything went quite well. Of course, on Friday, I did make my trips to the coin shops. But knowing that I was going to be working the weekend, my first stop was to go see Mr. Warren. Um, if you remember from last week, I showed that Viking round or, that I had picked up from the, uh, the Hamilton Mint collection and, uh, I had another one set aside for that. And so I wanted to get that picked up as, uh, he had been holding for me for a couple of weeks. Now off the top of my head here, I actually don't know what the name of this round is. Um, I will do some quick research and I'll pop it up here on the screen for y'all to see, but here we go. It's another one from that spirit of America collection. I just thought the design itself was quite intriguing. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you got somebody sitting there reading a story and I guess this is a, um, his mind portraying what he is actually reading. So I thought it was pretty cool. It is two ounces of silver, spirit of America, Hamilton mint. Absolutely loved it. He has a few more from the series, but those were the two that interest me. This one and the Viking from last week. So it's another addition for the stack. While I was there, he was going through some things that he had gotten uh, over the course of the week. He had gotten in several different kinds of gold. A lot of it was jewelry and stuff, but he did get in a few coins. Um, he had gotten in some more silver bars. He had sold some bars. All around, it had been a quite busy week for him. I couldn't stay too terribly long as I needed to get to work. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I got him paid for that week so I can pick up that, that piece and that he wouldn't have to hold it for me any longer. Another thing while I was there, um, we did do some talking about some different things. And uh, I also helped him to facilitate um, a purchase from one of the viewers of this channel. That went quite well. Um, everything got sorted out and uh, the payment was made, all that groovy stuff. And I got that sent out. So that was pretty awesome. So I've done that a few times for him now. And uh, it's worked out quite well every time. I'm always happy to do it. If I can do anything to help out Mr. Warren, I always try my best to do so. But like I said, I couldn't stay there all day. I had to get to work. And so that's what I did. I headed on out and I went to work and, you know, took care of the things I needed to do. Um, of course, I didn't make my trips to the other shops. I didn't make it to Newcastle Coins this week, but I did head over to Silver Eagle. They were pretty slow when I got there. They actually didn't have anybody in. They said it had been slow for most of the day. Um, I didn't have the finances to pick up a whole lot. Um, I just wanted to pick up one out of the generic bin. I ended up getting two. Um, here recently, I've actually been over uh, reaching on my budget, but you know, it is what it is. This is a bit of an addiction as, uh, as well as, you know, stacking, but that's okay. At least I know that my money is safe. And uh, so let's go over to a couple things that I picked up. The piece here that I picked up from Mr. Warren, I did forget to tell you that I paid 56 for that. So that's $28 an ounce. And the couple of pieces that I picked up from Silver Eagle were $28.50 an ounce. So let's go over those now. And first we have this round from Pan American. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a vintage piece. Um, I have gotten these for some other folks in the past. But this will be the first one that I've added to my stack. It's in very, very good condition. I keep flipping like these are American coins. So let's go ahead and get this into a capsule. Recently, I don't know what I've done with my lighting, but I'm casting a shadow now where I didn't used to when I get things right close to the camera. But here you go, a nice close look, Pan American. I do like this design of the folks down there doing their mining. One Troy ounce, 999, fine silver. Like I said, I did only plan on getting one, but they had one in there that caught my eye. Um, it uh, stood out like a sore thumb because it had some toning going on. And uh, I do love these uh, coins. I do have one that doesn't have any toning at all. But for $28.50, I was happy to get it. And that's going to be a Cook Island. As you can see, it's got some interesting goldish color toning going on. Um, it's got just a little bit on the back. Most of it's going to be... Actually, this is the obverse. This is the back. But... Uh, 
Yeah, it kind of stood out to me, of course, with this against all the other silver. And for $28, this was a no-brainer for me, even with the Tony on it. So let's go ahead and throw this one into a capsule as well. There we go, safe and sound, ready for the stack. That is all that I picked up while I was there, but of course there was plenty to see. So it took about 10 minutes and did some looking around. They have all kinds of stuff in stock, a lot of 2024 stuff, and that generic bin is absolutely packed. They were running a little low on their silver bars. They usually have a display full of just those silver bars. And uh, it was probably about 75% empty, which is quite unusual, but their stock of gold was quite full. The last time that I spoke with uh, with Bob while he was there, um, we did discuss when, uh, you know, he's feeling a little bit better, maybe doing a video, and uh, he seemed to take to that okay. So I do look forward to that um, and getting y'all some really good footage from the inside. I've been going in there for over a year now and really haven't gotten in anything in the way of footage. You know, I got a few pictures or a little bit there when I very first started going, but nothing much. So I'd love to get an update for all of you to see. But of course, when I left there, I headed on over to Candle Coin and Stamps. I knew for sure that my budget was pretty much done, but I did want to go over and say hello and see how Larry was doing. And uh, he was there, him and Cindy both. He's healing quite well from his situations, and uh, he seemed to be in a pretty good mood. Uh, they did have a couple people in, not too terribly many, and they had a few things in stock that I would like to have gotten. But like I said, you know, I'm trying to pull back, so I didn't buy anything while I was there. I did get to see this beautiful one ounce gold bar that they had just purchased. And uh, it's, a, as you can see, a Britannia. Um, I have seen these in gold. I've seen these in platinum. This is the first one I'd seen in person in gold. It's quite a gorgeous bar. I was really thankful for them letting me see it uh, in my hand, you know, up close like that. You know, a lot of times you go into places, if you don't have those uh, rapport with the employees and the owners and stuff, they're not really uh, keen to handing you a $2,000 plus dollar piece of uh piece of metal in your hand so that works out quite well so if y'all are new to stacking or new to going to lcs's make sure you build up those relationships because it really does make a difference of course after that i did make my rounds for work my deliveries and whatnot and called it a day as i said before i did have to work over the weekend uh, but on my way uh, to work monday or saturday morning i did stop by the post office and i had several things in um, I had already picked up something from a few days earlier, and then as of that day, I ended up having quite a pile, and so I needed to get those done. Um, but I've been so busy, I have not, I had not been able to get around to getting them finished by the time I usually put out my mail calls on Monday. So I did release my uh, update on my large scent uh, album, uh, and I did that on Monday. So if y'all are interested in how that's going. Um, you can head over there and check it out. You get to see all the uh, large sets that I've added to the collection. And uh, yeah, it's going quite well. Monday morning, before I headed to work, I needed to stop to see Mr. Warren again. As I said before, I did facilitate a sale to one of the viewers of this channel, and I needed to get the payment to him for it. So I went over there to stop by and, and uh, make that payment to him. At the same time, um, he had gotten in a few things that I was interested in getting my hands on, even though I'm, you know, like I said, me and my uh, financial situation, but... I don't know. I just, I really need to get a whole bunch of these and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. But um, of course he did have them still in. They're little tiny uh, silver ingots from Atmex. Uh, a customer had come in and sold him a whole bunch of these and uh, they're just little tiny silver ingots. Um, I want to get at least six of these. I think they would look great in the video stacked up in like a pyramid form. I um, mean, right now he's got about 20 of them um, and he did sell this to me for $28 an ounce. And uh, hopefully I can get some more. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool little ingot. And I can't wait to get a few more. But as you can see right there, we have Atmex 1 ounce 999 fine silver. And while I was there, I was looking at another piece that I've been eyeing for quite a while. And uh, Mr. Warren had uh, decided that he was going to give it to me as a gift. And I have to say that this week has been the week of gifts of silver. But yep, this is a little piece that uh, I have been eyeing probably for the better part of a month. And this is going to be a second century. I'm not exactly uh, sure of all the details on this. I have not looked it up. Um, it does say up here, Parks, Man, and His Environment. And this is going to be Yellowstone. On the other side, you've got Old Faithful. 
And I do know from uh, my own history classes and whatnot, they say you can actually set a clock by this geyser. That's how uh, frequently and how on schedule it always erupts. So that's pretty cool. But as you can see, it is from 1972 National Park Centennial. It's an awesome piece. It does have some edge lettering that, you know, tells the 999 fine silver and all that. Um, but yep, he gave this to me as a gift to thank me for all that I've been doing uh, to help him out around his shop. I thought that was absolutely phenomenal. That little piece, he actually was still in the original box. And as you can see right here, it is Medallic Art Company, New York. And I did look it up. That is the company that made them or made these medallions. But I thought it was pretty cool that he actually still had the original box from the 70s. That's pretty awesome. I did forget to mention that over the course of the weekend while I was at work, um, it was oddly enough, I was walking across the parking lot at work. And this just tells you that every now and then it's good to look down. Because in the parking lot, I found a sterling silver earring. Um, the little clasp right here is broken. But it is marked 999, or I'm sorry, uh, 925 sterling. So, you know, every now and then, take a look down and you might find some metal to add to your stack. It won't cost you a thing. Of course, I did do the video on all the mail that I'd gotten in over the course of the week. One of the amazing things that I got in was this one ounce dragon coin from Akadaka over in Australia. It was an absolutely stunning coin. One of the most beautiful of the set. I absolutely love it and I would like to get them all. They're quite pricey and so getting them all might take some time if I even attempt to get them. But it would be an amazing set to get. They do have them in a set in a display box of the half ounce ones. And those are quite nice as well. But I do want to thank Aka again for that amazing gift. And another purchase that I had made was from the Cranky One. Um, he was doing a sale, you know, trying to raise some money for a few things. And he had one of these. Uh, American flag bars. Um, I, like I said in the video, I did already have one, but I wanted a second one. Um, and I'm going to start displaying these, you know, kind of like one over here and maybe one over here in some of the videos. But yep, I bought this from Cranky and it's an excellent addition to the stack. And the last piece that I had gotten in over the course of this week came from the Cobra Stacker over in the UK. Not long ago, I was on the live stream, well, I was watching the live stream of the Stack Collector. And at the, near the end of his live streams, he does a little duck race to give a couple small things away. And I actually won the race. I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, I got his poker chip. I got his uh, some more of his stickers, things like that. And he had sent a little tiny bar, and I forgot to get it out for this video. But uh, a little tiny one gram bar um, with his uh, channel name and whatnot on it, TSC. And that was uh, made for him by Backyard Bullion. So I thought it was pretty awesome when I got it. But uh, right after the race was over with, Cobra Stacker came into the stream and said, Hey, whoever won that race, let me know, and I'm going to send them a little RoboCop. This thing is absolutely crazy. As I said in the, when I was showing the, during the mail call, I grew up watching these movies. I absolutely love it. It's a great little piece from the island of Fiji. One ounce of fine silver. Look at the detail on that. It's absolutely astonishing. And so there you go. That's everything that I've picked up over the course of this week. A lot of things have come in uh, in the mail. And then, of course, the things that I picked up in person. But all in all, it was a week of a bunch of silver again. Absolutely phenomenal. And I thank everyone who sent the stuff over. And I'm very thankful for the ability to have so many coin shops local to have such a selection for me to choose from. I do have to say I'm quite behind on getting my 1500 subscriber event done. I had actually ordered, ordered a custom mold for a custom silver pour um, for an item that I wanted to give away in that stream. I wanted to do it as a live stream, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting this, uh, getting the pour in. Um, it's been about a month and a half now. I ordered it back in February and I still haven't gotten it. And I've been going back and forth with the uh, manufacturer and uh, we still haven't gotten it yet. I'm not sure uh, how much longer it's going to take. So I think we're going to have to go on without it. Um, and I'm thinking we can, uh, I've got some other stuff around here I can use as the main giveaway. And so we'll see if we can't get that squared away. But speaking of live streams, I'm contemplating on live streaming maybe every week or two and doing uh, a giveaway during the streams just to have some live interaction with all of you. And if it's something that you all would like me to start doing, let me know down in the comments below. I really do think it would be an awesome thing to do. 
and uh, uh, maybe y'all can help me decide if it's going to be a yay or a nay. Um, I'm just about finished setting up my channel membership stuff. We're just working on a couple more of the little emojis. The badges are done, things like that. And hopefully we'll have that all squared away as well. And over the last few weeks, I have gotten uh, emails and questions and uh, messages and things like that in the comment section about where I get my capsules and where I get the, all the stuff that I use. And I do keep affiliate links for everything that I use down in the description below. So if you're interested in any of those, where I get my capsules, where I get my stands, where I got my lights, where I got anything, it's all down there. And down there, I've also got the contact info for all the coin shops that I go to on a regular basis. Um, that would be their names, numbers, and addresses. So if you'd like to reach out to any of them, their contact info is down there as well. And last but not least, I do have the link down there for Stacker Social. If you're interested in being a part of that group, um, go on there, down there and click that link. Uh, it'll take you to the Discord group and you can get things squared away. It's an awesome group of guys and uh, they started over there with the UK guys, and but there's a lot of guys from all over the world. It's an amazing group of people and uh, they even get together and do poker and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, if you're interested, go on over there and check them out. But that's what I've got for you in this one. As always, if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece is that I got over the course of this week. Me, it's a toss up. I'd have to say it's either the Lunar Dragon or the Robocop. They're absolutely amazing little pieces and uh, I'm really honored to be able to receive them both. I thank you guys so much for sending those out. And until next time, remember to follow along on my silver journey. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.